Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is February 15th, 2024, Thursday. The theme of today's devotional is Why? The scripture is from Job chapter 11, verses 7 through 16. Can you find out the deep things of God? Can you find out the limit of the Almighty? It is higher than heaven. What can you do? Deeper than Sheol, what can you know? Its matter is longer than the earth, and the brother and broader than the sea. If he passes through and imprisons, and assembles for judgment, who can hinder him? For he knows those who are worthless. When he sees in iniquity, will he not consider it? But the stupid will get understanding when a wild ass is born human. If you direct your, here, uh, your heart rightly, you will stretch out your hands toward him. If iniquity is in your hand, put it far away, and do not let wickedness reside in your tents. Surely then you will lift up your face without blemish. You will be secure and will not fear. You will forget your misery. You will remember it as waters that have passed away. Today's story is from Brenda, who lives in Washington. As I was recovering from shoulder replacement surgery, all was going well. That is, until I broke out in shingles. Anyone who has ever experienced shingles knows that the pain and the general misery are a nightmare. I confess I was angry at God. I could relate in a very small way to what Job experienced. And like Job, my prayers began with, why? I was already extremely uncomfortable after surgery, and now this festering annoyance was getting worse each day. Why God? What am I supposed to learn from this? I am happy to say that the shingles wounds have healed, and my shoulder works better than ever, but I still don't understand what all the pain was supposed to teach me. Surely, there is much in my life and in the world that just doesn't make sense. Sometimes we are not given the answers to our why questions. But we can trust the, that God is with us. We can cry out to God with what we don't understand and know that God loves us still. Amen. Amen. Why questions? Actually, we ask that questions whenever we cannot understand something. We want to know why it happens in our lives. Why? Especially, I mean, we don't usually ask why when we have uh, good things, exciting things. However, when we have a, um, bad things or situations, we usually say why because we usually think that we are not deserved of any any bad things but good things just with joy we enjoy church family the bible tells us about the why uh, bad things happens to the people sometimes it is because of the sins of uh, people sometimes it is just kinds of natural disasters which there is no sin, but still it happens. Sometimes it is a test like Job experienced. However, there are a lot of cases in our lives and we cannot find the answers to all, uh, all answers to the why questions when we face something. We can examine with three things, but there is more, I believe which only God understands, which only God can explain, but not any human beings. When Job was uh, in trouble, even, not, even though God knows everything, 
but his friends didn't know everything. So they just came. Actually, they want to uh, console him at first. However, it was became it became a debate between two, Job and his friends. And his friend says usually, "Hey, you made you committed sin. That's why you have this." But actually, it was not. Even though Job defended himself, but still, they didn't believe it because they have their own standard, and they thought that that is only explanation about that. Church family, we usually think that everything when we, I mean, well, what we have, the answers that we have are all. But as we know, it is not. We don't know the whole things. What we know is this, when you face any, any troubles, uh, the troubles or any situations, rather than uh, ask why, maybe you can just, I mean, you can ask why. However, I want you and I focus on to how, what God wants us to, how, I mean, what ways God wants us to go in this situation, in this trouble or in these things. Because God loves us. God is with us. And God is caring for us. And God will walk with us in our life journey. Whatever comes, the truth is same. God loves us. Whatever comes to us, the truth is God is working, walking with us in our life journey. So we don't need to worry about something too much. Just follow God. Trusting in God. That gives you peace more than finding why and find the solutions. Of course, we need to re examine ourselves regarding what sins we committed if we have. Because that also helps us to grow our faith. Grow our faith in God. But still, God is forgiving God. God is great and God is loving God. So, try to focus on God's love and grace for you. And let us walk our journey with God humbly. Let us pray. Loving God, help us to keep trusting you when our lives seem to be overly burdened. Strengthen our spirits and walk with us through our struggles. Amen. Amen. I hope you have a great day today and I will see you tomorrow. Today is... Uh, second day of Lent in this time of season. I hope you and I consider and ponder the meaning of Jesus' sacrificial love for us and try to participate in uh, Jesus' passion by practicing spiritual disciplines. Let us have this time, make this time meaningful with God's help and guidance and God's Spirit. Have a good day. And see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.